Randy from the Heights has a question about attic fans. He has two electric ones. Okay, mm. Randy writes, both have stopped working. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it's the motor or the thermostat, Tom. Would you replace them with new electric fans or put those old-fashioned whirly birds on top? I think you're going to choose option C. Let's find out. Yeah, there's d no whirly birds. Forget those. Those are antiquated. The turbines? The turbines, yeah. yeah. They, they leak when it rains. Go stand under one in a driving rainstorm. You need an umbrella. Hey, put that on your to-do <laughs> list, folks. Yeah, go from the attic. As far as the fans were not working, they burn out all the time the electric mm -hmm. motors because they overheat and they can say, cause fires i was gonna say the heat imagine you know how do you keep the how do you keep the lubricant in that motor at that well, heat it's really not a lubricant but what happens is it heats up and there's not enough airflow it's not unlike your air conditioning here when we were okay. choking it down and you didn't get enough air so now you had to put in return airs it's the same thing there's not enough flow through it and then you get 120 degree attic temperatures and you got this motor that's overworked and they usually burn out or can cause a fire i, I just for the sake of the record, I inherited that AC system. No, I didn't say it was it's your not fault. Like, okay. It's fixed now. It but I fixed right. it. So. Yeah. It's very common in, in a lot of the homes built in the 80s and early 90s because mm -hmm. people weren't paying attention to right. it. But get back on track here. Sure. As far as the attic goes, if you really want a fan, the solar fans are better because they don't work as hard. Uh, <laughs> and they don't have the electricity uh, going to them, so you don't have the fire issue. And that's what really bothers me. But quite frankly, if you can, ridge vents and soffit vents are the way to go. If you want to pull those out... What you could do is just pull the motors out and just leave the passive uh, uh, covers on top. And that's just like a air hawk. If you wanted to replace it with an air hawk, you could do that too. But you really don't need to. I just re recommend people pulling the motors out of them. Let them be a passive vent. When you get a new roof, ridge vents and soft vents. There you go. And when you get a question, you send it to us at homeshowradio.com. We'll help you out. You can see our other videos right here. And, of course, we'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to our channel.